What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Squizzy Gaming. My name is JP, and, well, y you guessed it. New update for the Star Wars Clone Wars Adventures emulator. And there's a whole bunch of new shit. I can't wait to show it to you guys. Uh, this We have a new title screen. We got uh, the cutscenes and scenes from the original show. Really cool. Um, we got new characters, new planets. I've only checked it out a bit. I haven't checked it out completely, so, you know. Shall we begin? Let's explore. Now first of all you have the Jedi character, or that's how he looks like a Jedi character, he looks like him. May not be the Jedi character, but you know, you get what I mean. It's on the phone anyway. Um, yeah, you can't jump down here because there's no more barrier or wall. I could fight it before and just pull the phone, there's no way back up. It's fun to explore because it's Coruscant, but you know, to an extent you don't want to be freaking out of the sandbox all day. Alright. And here we have the Jedi Library. Some new NPCs have been added, which is really cool. This place is still fluorescent as ever. It is awesome. And by the way, this is the second Clone Wars Adventures emulator. There were, sorry, this is actually the third. There was the first one, which was a complete fake and some asshole. He's gone, wherever the fuck he is. The second one is still being updated every now and then, but that one's through Blender, and it's definitely not as refined as this one. A lot of good work went there, but um, this one is the one which I think, if we ever, if this game does come back to life online, it'll probably be through this emulator. Uh, yep, yeah, this is, and yeah, as I said before, I probably didn't say it, I can't even remember. Um, yeah, the character's kind of fucked. He's really walking around this really awkward stance. You can't change it. Um, and once again, the camera of the thing, like the way you control the character really sucks. The best way to do it is to get a mouse, hold the left and right mouse button, control where he looks, and you know, just walk around with the arrow keys. That's probably the best way to gain control of him. All right, let's continue to explore. Apparently new planets have been added, which is gonna be awesome to check out. And there's also some mini games, but you can't actually access those unless you're doing it through Flash. So I'll definitely show those guys, so show those things out, probably in a different video though. Um, yeah, it looks like I can't go through there. Maybe the workshop area has been closed off. Sucks. Oh well. If you do want to see the workshop area, I've got a couple of other videos. You can check it out there. Maybe it's been blocked off for some reason in this emulator. I have no idea why. But let's continue to explore. There's a lot to see. Alright, so these stairs are kind of fried. As soon as you walk, you hit a barrier and jump through them. And you have three rooms here. Here you have the little Jedi meditation room. Not much here, but it's a nice, it's a good looking room. Some gray graphics, um, very cartoon-like, but you know, in a good way. Kind of like a, the old public style kind of graphics, which I definitely don't mind a lot. I know a lot of people don't really like it, but I'm, I've gotten used to it. I'm accustomed to it. It's great. I love it. And yeah, that's basically what the Clone Wars Adventures was. It's very similar to this. All right, let's continue because this room really has nothing here. If you want, uh, I will keep a link in the description below. You can try this out for yourself. It's free to download, free to play. Uh, it's just an emulator, and you, know, you can try to look through the door if you want. Probably won't work, but it's fun anyway. Uh, yes, we have entered the main level in Coruscant, and we'll go through this first door here. And we have the training room. Is there a ladder? Thing or an escalator to bring us up? No, there is not. Uh, if you look up here, you will see Dark Attack. I don't think you can play it through this. You need to um, get the second thing you've got to do. But, uh, yeah, just the down. Um, what's that? Is that another minigame? What is this? Um, that's the Saber Strike. Oh, I remember that. Good old days. Saber Strike. I can't go through here. I don't want to jump through there, so let's just leave this empty, lifeless room. Okay. Let's go and go back to this area. We went through the left one here, so we checked out what's on the right. And to memory, it is the travel room, like the quick travel place. Yep. You got the three rooms in the bar, while off the Camino there. You have Starfighter mode here, which I don't think you can access this game yet, but I will come back here in a sec, but before the other planets, we'll just continue to look through the rooms in Coruscant. Alright, Cantina, I think, I believe, Cantina, yep, 
we got that daily spin wheel thing here. Which even if they did bring that back, it's completely pointless. What are you supposed to be winning? Not much. Hey, is that Max Reroll? NPCs there, there's a giant ass logo, which I love. Alright, we've checked the one to the right, let's check the one to the left. Oh, Republic Defender. This is the info room where you first have the cutscene, which you obviously can't see anymore, unfortunately. Maybe they'll add that one day, you can like, just rewatch it for yourself. Because that was a pretty cool intro to a game. Alrighty. Alright, we've checked these out. And I'm not really spending much time in there, there's really not much to do. Just exploring. Oh, windows. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> Spaceships look like. Just look really odd for some reason. Okay, let's head back to the travel room and let's explore the different planets. So I'm assuming we can't play these yet. Or like at least. And in this version, we don't have the guy who stands here and says, where do you want to go? We just have the rooms, and let's go through them. We're going to bar first, which I cannot enter. Perhaps it is not ready yet. Let's try right off. Also cannot enter. Camino, come on Camino, don't. Camino, here we go. Ah, Camino. Probably the, my favourite planet from... Attack of the Clones and my favourite scenes from Attack of the Clones. I think Attack of the Clones was great. Well, not that great. The best part of Attack of the Clones was Camino. Oh, shit. Alright, these rooms aren't perfect, but I think they're better than the Camino we've seen so far. Oh boy. Oh boy. Am I gonna land or just walk forever? Oh boy. Alright, once again, I'm going to need to restart this video, so just give me a sec. Alrighty, I'm back. Hopefully this time we won't fall through any doors. Let's enter, re-enter Camino. We'll try the other uh, doors again in a sec. Just want to continue to explore Camino without dying. So as I've stated in my earlier videos, I don't even remember Camino. I didn't spend a lot of time playing this game. It got shut down when I was very young, but it actually started when I was very young. And by the time I started playing it, I, it was already over. So I didn't really get a chance to properly play it. I have a couple of videos that I uploaded right before it ended. Uh, I, sometimes I go back there and watch them. And, and I've been up to date with the emulators. Whenever there's an emulator, I will show it to you guys, no matter where it's from, from who it's from. I love the memories of this game. I know it's not a perfect game. It wasn't a great MMO, but it did give a lot of people memories. Ooh, now this is what I call a room. Um, See, like, I have no memory of this place. I have memories of Ryloth, because that's where you start. There's that intro cutscene room. I definitely remember that one. Other than that, I really can't remember. I went to Umbara a couple of times, but I just got my ass kicked, because I had no clue what I was doing. But, yeah. Camino, not a clue. But I would like to see this game revitalized. If not, I'd like to see kind of like an offshoot version for Star Wars Rebels, because I know that show is great. I'm loving Star Wars Rebels. It's not a perfect show, of course, but neither was the Clone Wars. It still had its moments, though, and yeah, this game. I enjoyed it when I was a kid, and I'd like to see it return. But I hope it's not at the expense of Star Wars The Old Republic, because I don't want to see that game go just yet. Why can I not leave? <laughs> Why are they all standing, mate? It's really fucking weird. <laughs> We're all walking around the same way. Was it like this in the other update? I can't remember. Maybe in the first one it was like that as well. I was running around like this with my phone, but I really can't remember. I know in the previous ones, there's like all the other versions of the emulator. You have a blaster and you can run around and shoot things, but this one, I'm just not quite sure. All right, there seems to be no way to leave, so I'm gonna have to <laughs> restart this video again. Just give me a sec. 
Alrighty, I'm back. I came here again because I went back the door again, but I did not. Um, yeah, it was uh, pointless. Alright, so let's not head into Camino again, because we'll probably get stuck there again. I want to try the other rooms again. I'm pretty confident we should be able to go through them. I don't know why it's not working. It's really odd. Oh, they have their hands behind their backs. I just noticed. Maybe not every character has his arms out like this. <laughs> that looks really fucking weird. This looks identical to my previous. I'm wearing shoes. Yeah, this guy looks identical to my previous character. Come on, Ryloth, let me in. Let me in. Oops. Alright. Maybe we can enter through the back. Probably not. Oh, I should have done that. The character, the character stuck. Oh boy. <laughs> this up, this uh, emulator needs a lot of work. All right, I'll be back in a sec. All right, we're back. Let's give that another try. Um, so I believe this emulator was created by a man or a group called Drake. Guessing it's not a rapper, it's a singer, but yeah, called Drake. Um, thank you for making this. This is really bringing back a lot of memories. I hope you guys do continue with it, continue to update it, make it better. Hopefully, one day it will come online and you know, maybe not have all the mini games, but you will be able to communicate with old friends and make plans and things like that. I understand if old characters and stuff like that isn't going to be able to come back, obviously. The game has been shut down for nearly three years now. No, it has been three years. Oh my goodness, wait a minute, what's today? First of the fourth, it got shut down on the 31st of March 2014. It's been a day over a year since, it's been a year since, three years since this game shut down. That, that's just fucking sad. Okay, so Camino, we've been there. Ryloth, we can't enter through. Mbara, also blocked. I think there may be a glitch in the update, which is probably why it's not working properly. Same with the door on the first level, like the outside area. Um, yeah, I think that's probably why it's not working. Because I'm pretty sure I remember reading that there's at least two planets to go into it. And I remember entering that uh, office, or the office, the workshop area in the previous update. So it's, uh, it's definitely a glitch or something like that. Um, do I remember if there's anything else we can do? We can go into Camino again, but I don't want to get stuck there. Again. But I would like to see like the opening area because this kind of reminds me of the way Obi Wan first arrived on Camino and he just kind of landed in Jango Fett. They were all fighting into the area here. Uh, maybe on this area. Maybe there's like a thousand black ones anyway. But something. Oh my goodness, they were so proud. So can we head back through this ship or are we like stuck here forever? So we took the game, which I can't be bothered to again. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way back, which kind of sucks. But anyway, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you've experienced this emulator, seeing where it's gone. Um, if you would like to download it, experience it for yourself, you sure can. There's a link in the description. You just check the description area. You'll see a link there. You can go to the website, download it. It's absolutely free. Uh, thank you to the developers. You are honestly working so hard for this. And Drake. Hope you are, or you guys are, thank you. I'd also like to give a big shout out to Joshua Pamola, your original um, emulators were the ones that, your, or semi-emulators were the ones that have kind of inspired these ones. There was a fake one that no one, you know, brought everyone's hopes up, and then Pamola's ones came out, and those were the ones that we pretty much had for a period of time. And those, I still have that one, it feels really good for the latest update of those ones. There's a lot of mini games you can play there, and I'll also keep the link of the, of the blog site where Joshua Kamala keeps his emulators if you want to check those out. I'll check out some of my videos, I'll keep the link there. Um, thank you guys for watching, I'll do another video on the Flash games soon, the Flash player games, of the mini games. And I will see you guys in the next video. Hello. Just one more thing, I jumped off the platform and I'm kind of walking on the water. It's insane, and I don't know what this is, but I'm really, I really want to stand on it. <laughs>
Oh my goodness. I love being, I love being weird. Come on, come on, whoever you are, just, you can make it. Come on, do it. You can land on this fallen platform. I think I'm gonna go right through it. Am I gonna go right? Yeah, I went right through it. Shit, I just defied the world of physics. Alright, seriously, farewell.